Hi there, Iman here with a new tip of the week. Today we will cover a command that includes somehow three commands in one. I will start with a rectangle. Let's say this rectangle. You know, I didn't decide the width, I didn't decide the height, but we can do that now. Um, let's say I need the width to be one meter tab and I need the height to be something like 800. This is the width and height of the rectangle. And let's say that we rotated that rectangle and the angle is actually unknown. And then you scaled that rectangle with a factor that is also unknown, any factor, something like that. Then let's say that I created line like that, vertical line, I don't care about the length, but for the width, I need that width to be 875 um, and enter, then any height here and here we go. Okay, what is the point now that I would like to uh, clarify? If I told you I would like to scale that rectangle, so from this point to this point should be equal to this point to this point. So again, I need the distance from here to here, which is, you know, it's not accurate now, to be the same distance from here to here, which is very accurate, which is 875. And I want this unknown rotation angle to be the same like this horizontal line and to move that rectangle so this upper left corner should be here. So if you would like to do that in sequence, you may think about move, then rotate, then scale, something like that. And, and we can do that, by the way. You can use move, then you can make a rotation with reference to make sure that it's an accurate angle and scale reference as well. However, we have something that will finish it in one or with one uh, command. Yeah, and let's say in one step. To do that, just come to modify and select a line. By the way, a line is having the shortcut AL as well. So if I selected, modify will start by asking me about the object. So I want to select the object and after selecting the object, you have to use enter to finish your selection. Then a line will start asking you about first source, first destination, second source, second destination, and so on. So first source, this is the point that you are having now. Click here, for example. And then let me turn off the ortho so you can see what is written here. By the way, you don't have to turn off the ortho. I just turn it off so you can see the uh, coming steps using the dynamic input. So the dynamic input now is telling you what is the or specify the first destination. So where would you like to see this point? Yeah, I would like to see this point here. This endpoint, so endpoint to endpoint. Now a line is asking you about the second source. Yeah, this point where it should be, it should be here. Where it should be, it should be here. Now it's asking you about the third. Here you will not accept the third. You will say continue. And you can see here, you know, in the dynamic input, it says specify third source point or continue. I would like to continue actually. So to continue, just use enter from the keyboard. Why I have to select continue? To let AutoCAD uh, compare the two points of the source with the two points of the destination so it will tell you that, you know, scale is not the same. So would you like to scale your object? Yes, I would like to scale. And here we go. Your rectangle moved to the needed point, the point that you targeted. It's rotated to the proper angle and now it has the correct width. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you like the tip of today and see you in other tips. Thank you.